Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fifi Kengmo and this is Fifi K Show. Today I will share with you the money secret for couple. How when people, couple can get financial freedom, how they can become a millionaire. Do you know when you can combine your income with your partner? You know, it's something that we have to know and we have to know from the beginning of the relationship. When do we combine income? How do we combine income? How do we bring up the conversation? So there's something that you have to have in mind when you meet someone you're going to spend the rest of your life with. It's something that you have to bring up. How do you bring it up? You don't bring it up in your first date when you met. You know, you look at the person, you got talk and you chat. The day you want to bring, the day you can bring up the money conversation, it may be when you guys make your first trip somewhere and you say, ah, you know, you that maybe you have some financial education, maybe the other one doesn't know or both of you are aware and somebody need to bring up like, how do you prepare for this trip? Because at that time, I think each of you seen doing by their own. And you ask the other partner, how do you prepare for this trip? The way the person will answer you, maybe I use my credit card to pay for the trip, or I use my this, you say, oh, okay. You say inside you that we have some work here to be done. And before you get engaged, you have to talk about the money. Before you guys move in together, you have to talk about money. How are we going to share our expenses how are we going to spend our money you have to uh, to talk about it you cannot just move in with somebody and one day problem start you guys don't know what to do because you guys do not plan to you know do not plan your finances it's something that you need to talk about it before engagement what are we going to do about our finances how would you like to have your rich life you have to ask that question to your partner how will you you know how do you pretend to have your rich life you have to ask him or her about that so because what is money money is a fuel is a fuel to anything that we do it's something you touch you know to do anything you touch the money you buy something you earn something it's not supposed to be a cost in life because now at some point some couple the money become a cost for them because they did not plan, they did not talk about it before, and they just made themselves now. They start tearing each other. I mean, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No, it's a, supposed to be a conversation, ongoing conversation. So how do you get into habit of talking about money? Have your monthly meeting. Have your monthly meeting with your partner. So how do we plan to do this? How are we planning to do this? And that you guys have a spreadsheet to set up what you guys need to do and what you guys need to pay, what you guys need to buy. How do you, when you're planning a vacation, you have to have that monthly meeting with your partner. That's how do, so to avoid any problem. Ha, <clears throat> be on the same page. Trying to be on the same page with the person. If the person is not learning up with you, ask why. What is the reason? Maybe the person has some kind of issue and that she doesn't want to bring up. Try to make the person bring that issue up. Why I don't want to line up with this. You know, because you are a couple. You end up, you know, when you go signed, it's for worse and for better and worse. You have to stick with it. You don't run away when somebody you met now, you find that the person is into debt. How did the person get into that debt? Trying to help the person get out of that debt. That's how the couple need to do. That's how, where the support comes from. Ask the question, what, what is your, you know, what is your thought? You ask your partner, what is your thought about money? Because some people, their life is just again, I spend, again, I spend. They don't think about the future. So you have to bring that up and ask, bring the person, you know, if that's a, that kind of person that again, I spend, again, I spend, you have to say, oh, we need to talk. When you, again, you spend, you're going to spend. What about the future? What about tomorrow? We don't have emergency fund. What about when you don't, you're not able to work? And, let, you know, let them listen to 
uh, YouTube channel that talk about financial education. Let them read the book. To do it slowly. Don't, if somebody that has been in that habit for a long time, don't think in one day the person will, you know, gain your confidence. Just go slowly. Go slowly. And then when they get some, you know, some, some resistance, stop and wait. Give them time. And then we come back and you come back to that conversation. Don't start saying, I need it now, I need it now. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Go it slow, step by step. Bring the list of, you know, some some people, they have different accounts. You have to bring the list of those accounts and sit together and talk about it. I have this account or I have this credit card. I have this saving account. Don't try to understand each other, what other person has trying to bring that all on the table, make the balance, see who is in the deep trouble, and see how you can bring the person up together. You guys are together. Remember, for the better and worse, you guys are together. And don't go, I know, you know, all the financial educators, uh, they don't advise you to go buy a house with somebody when you're not legally married. You don't go start drinking together when you see a like boyfriend, girlfriend. It's not good, you know, if something happened along the way, it would be difficult for you to get, you know, more, your money from the investment that you guys did together. So before you join in account, trying to get, you know, be legally married before you can do join in account. Okay, don't go get yourself in trouble and things happen. Things can happen anytime. Things can happen. So. You don't go want to get yourself stuck on that deal when the thing happen. So when they, you know, the person that you're talking to doesn't uh, doesn't have the ability to uh, understand to apprehend what you say. You know, wait and set up a second meeting. In the second meeting now, nah, you know, it doesn't have to be one week, two days. No, give them enough time because you love them. You want them to improve. So you set up a second meeting, discuss all the numbers now how many credit how the person is deep in debt you know it's not tell them it's not a shame thing happen whatever happened now is now how can we fix it from now how can we get this fixed at this time you have that conversation you know talk about your goal what is your goal with this person you're going to you married to what are you going planning together how is, how is your retirement will look like? You have to have that conversation with him or her. Talk to them and let the person express themselves. Do not be like, I'm the one, I'm the one. No, it's not going to work. You sit there in the copper, that's a failure right there. If you start like telling, oh, I'm the only one, I'm the only one. That's a failure for both of you. So trying to be that person that is peacemaker, if you already have that kind of financial education, try to be the peacemaker, trying to bring your partner to understand that financial education is how freedom can be. That's how you, you know, trying to be, to, to be that person. Talk about your goal. Talk your attitude about money. Have the baseline. You need a baseline. Trying to have that baseline where you guys need to be what is where where do you think is better for you guys to be you have to have that conversation you know as a person set up a long and short term goal what do you plan to do by this age or by this many years of marriage how do you plan you have to set up that goal a short and long term goal of your saving on your retirement have an agenda and follow it when you bring an agenda, try to follow that agenda. Do, you know, as I said earlier, do not combine income until you get married. When you don't combine finances, you always lose. You know, you always lose. Because if you're getting $1 and the other one is getting $150, that means the family is getting $250. And that you, you know, and you plan your, your, your plan everything on that $250. You don't just say, I'm the one, I'm the one. It's, it's not how life's supposed to be. It's just a make to, to be failure. And, you know, for some, you can have that, you know, the family have 250. Okay, I make 25, 25 cents for, for my, you know, free spending 
or my partners also have 25 cents for the free space. Without the money, they want to buy the chocolate, they can buy, they want to do anything, they can do no question apps. So you have to, you know, you have that, they will be getting $2 and $50. So the $2, $25 is, $2 is for our everything and the 50, 50 uh, cents, you know, we divide 25. I'm just giving an example. I have 25 cents, you have 25 cents, and you, you whatever you use that 25 cents, it doesn't concern me. That's how you can do it. To have some peace that anything that maybe you want to do something, you just want to go to your main account to do it, you use it for that 25 cents. That it will help you to do whatever you want. And your, your husband or your wife will not ask you, what do you do with this money? You have to, you know, set that kind of account. You both should have this, you know, the same free expense, firms free leisure, you know, that's what should be in your leisure. So continue your monthly meeting regarding your finances. Money is, you know, at the end, money is fun when it is respect and love. You know, when you watch my video until this level, I need you to subscribe to that button. You have to subscribe and like. So what's the money for? Money is fun when there is respect and love to one another. There is no, there is no I when it comes to money but us. You know, when you are the couple, it's not my, 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 my. It's we, we, we. It's us, 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 and we, we, we. So this is how the secret that I have for money for the couple and you follow that you're going to be financial stress-free and you're going to be happily uh, live happily after you know your couple will be always smiling and always cheerful always in vacation and nothing nobody will be like they'll be asking ah oh, how these people how these people because you guys are together Thank you for listening to me. Please share and subscribe to my video and I love you all. Thank you.